And hello again. I wanted to make a video to show you uh, where I'm at with my Bedini wheel. I, um, I've got it running off uh, this run battery, charging this battery. Uh, basically I have those two baby carriage wheels with um, double layers. Each wheel has six um, magnets on it, or six spots on it. But uh, 24 magnets and all. Anyways. Uh, then I have these towers. I got three of them around the wheel. And each tower has two coils. And each coil has a circuit. But, um, it's, it's been running for about an hour. This is the charge battery. <laughs> and it's gone from 12.12 to 12.51 in an hour, which is pretty good. The, uh, it's still running pretty efficiently, even with six coils running off one battery. Um, they're all all these circuits are tuned down to their sweet spots, which is basically turned right down to uh, almost full resistance in each case, but um, making them you know run very efficiently. If there's just one of these coils on this wheel uh, tuned all the way down like that, it would it would turn the wheel very slowly, but with six altogether it keeps it humming. I mean, the wheel's flying, and I got them all tuned all the way down. When I have them tuned all the, or turned all the way up, the pots, um, it goes even faster. <laughs> Obviously, but um, anyways. <coughs> the uh, charge battery started at 12.35, and it's down about a tenth, tenth of a volt in an hour. And this one's up about four tenths, which is cool. But anyways, I've got myself uh, an ignition coil. And uh, these little battery banks that I have there are 12, or actually 14.4 uh, volts each. I had uh, two packs of them in series, um, and it was lighting this CFL bulb I uh, modified, like, uh, Imhotep, or I forget what his uh, channel name is, Slobchuk or something. But anyways, you just pull the CFL apart, basically, and um, carefully pry it apart with a screwdriver and take the little circuitry out of it and then wire the wires back together and you can run it off that but anyways I'm running really well off two of those but anyways I want to put the um, uh, ignition coil between the negative of the charge battery and the negative leads to the negative charge on each circuit I saw, I've seen a uh, lid motor channel guy uh, do that with his uh, ignition coil. And I'm going to try that. And uh, also, um, I still have my caduceus coil. haven't given up on that idea. I'm going to run some of that pulse through this uh, caduceus coil and see what happens uh, scalar wave-wise. But uh, that's about it. I just wanted to show my King Kong Bedini, is what I've called it. Maybe Octopus Bedini, <laughs> now that I'm looking at it through the camera. But um, it's moving and charging really good. It's still going up. And this little charge battery um, normally doesn't like to go up that high with the Bedini. I've never been able to get it to go that high. Anyways, 
that's it for now, and uh, see you next time.